afternoon beekeepers. Camille here at Shannara's Nursery. Today what we're going to do is we're going to pop into the hive, make sure everybody's got enough protein patties, and we're going to look for the uh, presence of our queen. Now to do this we don't necessarily need to find the queen. It's going to be very hard, if not impossible, to do so when your hive is uh, bustling with a lot of different bees. So what we're going to do is we're going to do something a little bit easier to make sure she's there. We're going to look for um, presence of eggs. If you see the eggs, obviously there's a queen present and you can tell a lot about her health just by looking at the eggs and the brood pattern. If you see a bunch of eggs really packed together in a nice little cluster, you've got a really nice queen. If you see sparse eggs, kind of a spotty pattern, maybe it's just about time to replace her. So this queen has been with the hive for at least a year now and we're just gonna make sure she's still doing all right. Make sure you get plenty of smoke in there. It's a nice day, it's not windy or anything, so the bees are pretty docile, but you do need to make sure that you're going to smoke them adequately, just in case. Now last time, what I did is I put a bunch of sugar feed in here, which we still have quite a bit left of. So when I lift off our Vivaldi cover, I'm gonna have to be really careful not to spill the heavy liquid. There we go, nice and easy. Now another thing we did last video is we swapped our brood box down to the bottom. So there's not going to be a lot of activity up here, and that's all right. They're still building their population. So we're just going to pop that whole box off, lay it on its side. Very important that you don't put it straight face down, or you're going to end up with a lot of rocks in there, and that's going to be a pain to, dr to dig out. So it actually looks like we're doing really well. We've got bees up here in the middle frames now, instead of just the bottom brood box. More than likely, our queen is still going to be on the bottom brood box, so we're just going to get in there and take a quick look. So we've still got quite a bit of our protein patty left. I'm not going to be too worried about refeeding them quite yet because there's going to be some awesome weather next week and I'll be able to check again. But for now, let's take a look at some of these frames and see what kind of activity we've got. Actually looking like they have all moved up into that middle box. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take the remnants of this protein patty and I'm going to put it on top of the box that they're actually using right now. Now, nice and gentle. I'm going to make sure you don't squish too many bees. If there's a lot of bee presence around the edges, feel free to use your bee brush as well, but it's not always necessary. They're getting a little bit agitated, so just give them a little bit more smoke. That'll keep them inside the hive frames, and then they're less likely to get hit by your finger or to accidentally sting you. It's been quite some time since I've actually done an actual hive inspection, so these frames are going to be pretty much glued together by propolis, which is bee glue. And they make this out of tree sap, typically, and it just becomes basically super glue. All right, so it looks like what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to take 
frame out over here and start moving them over. This does happen sometimes, and this is where a frame rest is going to be your best friend. There we go. It's very important to remember which order you put the frames back in. Bees are kind of an OCD sort, and they really want things to stay as close to the same as possible. So we're just going to set that there for now. And then we should be able to slide these frames over. And if there's too much buildup of propolis down here, you just use your hive tool and kind of knock it off. That'll give you a little bit more freedom with your frames. There we go, much easier than trying to take from the middle. Slow and steady does usually win the race here. If you make a bunch of thumping around and harsh movements, the bees are not gonna like that. So if you have to take an extra second to make a cautious, slow move, that is definitely okay. All right. So we're getting into the frames where you're actually going to see some bee activity. They don't have all that much going on right now. They do have some nectar. So you can see kind of that uncapped, shiny liquid in there that is nectar that's eventually going to be turned into honey but I don't see any brood in this frame. And as you use your smoker, if it starts to go out, short, quick bursts will help keep it lit. So I'm seeing lots of honey in here. I'm not seeing any pollen. So it's a really good thing that we have supplemented them with their pollen patties. Still not seeing any brood, which is not the best sign, but we still have lots of life in the colony. So, worse comes to worse, we should be able to requeen this hive. I'm starting to think that this hive does not have a queen, which is pretty recent because there were eggs last time. If you're having trouble seeing your frames, put a little bit of smoke on them. That'll make the bees move away a little bit and you can kind of see what they're standing on. So we are seeing a little bit of pollen in this frame here. It's kind of hard for me to see here, but it's a little bit of pollen right in there. There was a little bit of pollen in this area as well. 
you can kind of tell because it's going to be a little bit thicker, kind of granule. But I'm definitely not seeing any signs of a queen. Which is kind of a bummer because I really wanted to show you what a queen egg, or uh, what an egg from a queen looks like. But I suppose we will get to that later, and I can teach you how to requeen then. But for now, we're going to slide all of our frames back to the same position where we found them. And we're going to put that last frame back in. Just gently slide them over. If they don't want to slide, pick them up a little bit. But just make sure you're not jostling the bees too much. If there's a little extra propolis, go ahead and get rid of that. It's a good idea to collect these. There are a couple of things you can do with them. And uh, if you don't want the propolis at all, just make sure you toss it kind of far from your hive so you don't invite any robbers. All right, looks like I've got enough room to put that frame back on now. Nice and gently. And since all of our bees are clustered around these two middle frames here, we're going to try and get them to go back in with a little bit of smoke. We don't want to squish them all. There we go. This is also going to clear the area so that I can put that protein patty right back on. And they're definitely going to need more protein next time I come in, which is going to be sometime next week. Alrighty, so let's put all these back on. Remember to be very careful with your liquid feed. It's going to be pretty heavy. It's going to slosh around a little bit. All right, girls, have a good afternoon.